missing voters lists, polling stations that don't open, entire cities where voting has been canceled, people wading through floodwaters to vote. That's election day in Congo. Heavy rain and flooding are actually the least of Congo's problems as voters try to cast their ballots. Thousands of angry people were turned away at polling stations as the chaos grew. But no matter how it all turns out, this is an historic election for the country. Joseph Kabila, who's been president since 2001, is stepping down. If there's peaceful transition of power, it'll be the first time that's happened since Congo gained independence 58 years ago. Congo has had a violent history ever since colonial times, and the central government is often fighting rebel armies for control of parts of the country. And there are frequent outbreaks of the deadly disease Ebola. Congo is dealing with one of those outbreaks right now. Anastasia uh, Tudieshi is a reporter in Congo's capital, Kinshasa. She says voters have faced many problems today. Anna, I have listed four. The first of, it, of them being the tardiness of the, the electoral list. People had to wait sometimes half a day before they see the list arriving. And then the second problem is sometimes they wouldn't even see their own names up, up on this list, which, uh, you can, as you can imagine, creates lots of frustration. Um, also, the fact that because um, there, had, there had been some issues with the voting machines, they were burnt um, a few days ago, maybe 10 days ago, and the um, electoral committee couldn't replace them in time, in due time, uh, they had to close some uh, polling, uh, some voting centers. So you have less voting centers and the same amount of voters. It means a long, long time to, to wait before you can get to vote. So uh, tardiness, um, not all the names were on the list. People had to wait a long time. And also the voting machines themselves had issues. Some of them had battery issues, some of them had paper issues, and when you would insert the paper, the paper wouldn't go in normally. So these are the main issues uh, that were mentioned to us today. Congo's been through uh, many years of war and other problems. What are voters hoping for after this election? Congo is a country where the unemployment rate is 80 to 90%. So the first thing a Congolese voter will tell you he's hoping for, um, the outcome he's wishing to see is work. People want to work. They want a job. They want to be able to support their families, to support their dreams. So number one, work. The number two, safety. Number three, health. These are the three main words that come back when you ask about people's dreams here or people's hopes um, uh, when it comes to these elections outcomes.